Hi, I'm Sharon. And I'm Yarn Boy, better known as Rich. And welcome to episode 158. Yes. Yes, 158. Yep, 158. Whoa. That's exciting. So, yeah, that is pretty exciting. Okay, I, I think you're very excited to tell us something today. Who? Oh. You. Oh, well, did you notice my shirt? I love your shirt. I am Look now at that. an official yarn, a certified yarnologist. Yarnologist. Yes. Is that kind of like a gynecologist? It's well, that would be fun. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> no, it's it's somewhere between a cardiologist and a proctologist. A little bit higher than a urologist, but not as crazy as a psychologist. What about a speech pathologist? Uh, well. That's what that's I am. That's up here. Yeah, that's way up here. Or what I used to yeah, be. Yeah, so you're not down below. We, <laughs> yeah, we it do. It would be better if we, you were down below. We deal me, with really. this and this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, and uh, I, what I do is I talk to the yarn. And <laughs> I ask it from the time it was a little fleece on a sheep until it's current state is yarn. I ask if, you know, has any emotional problems that it was scarred with or any kind of, you know, problems with its parents or anything like that. So that's what I do. I talk to it. Oh my gosh. Does it talk back to you? Oh, <laughs> after about three martinis, I can't shut it up. It really, <laughs> you'd be surprised what yarn can do with a few martinis. I yeah. Imagine. Whoa. My goodness. Yes. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I get started on talking to one right. Oh, hey, do you notice know this? This is my, oh, this is a can't even see gin it. martini. Okay. On the rocks. And in case you can't you notice. You can't really see it because of the. There are ice balls in it. Wait, you gotta. Nothing better than a pair of cold ice balls. Really? In your drink. Yes. In my drink? It's my drink. Okay, so those are the ice those balls. Those are ice balls. They're ice balls. Yes, they're round and they look like big balls. Okay. And they make an interesting drink. So many jokes. Yes. <laughs> so pray tell, where did good, you good. Where did you get all the Where did you get all this lovely swag there? The urologist oh, from, shirt from and a newest follower of ours, Lauren. Yeah. Hello, Lauren. Thanks for everything. See, I got it on. She knows a urologist when she sees one. She does. Mm -hmm. Well, Rich is talking. Rich works in a kindergarten class part of the day, and the kindergarten teacher Lauren gave him a gift for helping out this year, and this is the gift: urologist mm -hmm. and round balls. Well, yeah, frozen ice balls. round balls. Well, an ice cube maker that makes almost as good as. Well, I guess if you held them long enough, they'd be blue balls, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's get on with our let's show. Let's get on with our show. All right. So it's going to be a quick one because I don't have a heck of a lot. You say that every week. I know. And then 45 minutes later, he was still yakking away. I know. By the I... way, this is a knitting show. It's what? It's a knitting show. Yeah, it's a knitting show. I'm sorry. It's not about it's a... drinking or... It's not. It's basically a knitting show. Tickling it's, yarn. It's a... Tickling. It's about knitting, sometimes spinning, other crafts possibly, now that we are going to be retired after this week. Yes. We had a retirement party. Mm hmm. That and it was, was fun. fun. And I fun, will, fun. I'll insert a picture of us right here somewhere. Where? <laughs> in the video. I'll put our picture oh, that okay. Diana took of us. It's oh, a pretty nice okay. picture. I'll put it in. Mm hmm. Yeah, we had a really nice time. It was a lovely evening. Yes, I even wore a suit jacket. You did wear a suit jacket, which is it rare. Didn't, sorry, you didn't get a blizzard. Yeah, I know. Rich doesn't like to dress up. No, no. I, knows. on the other hand, love to dress up. Oh, you can't wait up. to gorge up. I know. I love it. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I had a beautiful dress by my designer. You oh. know how you know how every woman has their designer that designs things that fit them perfectly. Well, my designer is Ralph Lauren. He must design for hourglass figures because that's what I have. And every dress I try on fits pretty well. Everybody has their own design. And mine is North Face. Yes. Mike North Face. Yeah, and, and then the Gap is basically 
Although I, I'm not so crazy about them lately. They Their t-shirts are... Anyway. Yes. We anyway, didn't, okay. We're not here to talk about did you knit? Clothing. What did you knit this week? I, well, I finished, an, I finished something. You're sure? But I did not... You wore that? No. Did you, what did you wear? You wore that, right? I wore at the, the dinner. I wore the green shawl at yeah. the dinner, but that was finished last week. This week I finished another shawl, but I didn't bring it with me because it's not blocked. Oh. And it doesn't look good. So okay. next week I promise I'm going to have two blocked shawls by Helen Stewart. I'm going to have the snow melt blocked, and I finished the fairy hell shawl. Okay. And I'll I'll just insert some video of of where I was last week. On, on that shawl, but it's finished now, but it definitely needs blocking. It's small. It'll be fine, because I, I like wearing things around my neck. I made the small size. Do you have anything to show? I have lots of things that I need. Well, I have two things to show. You don't knock over your bottle of Hip Hip Hooray champagne there. I, oh yeah, look, I got this as a gift, as a retirement gift. Sip, sip, hooray. Sip, sip, hooray. Congratulations on your retirement. Let the relaxation begin. Mm -hmm. Yay. And it was nice. I got some flowers. It was lovely. And you got some goodies. Anyway, so let me show my knitting. So look, honey. What? Do you know what this is? My sweater. Karnak says my sweater. Karnak says. Oh my gosh, that takes me back. Yes. Oh, the good old days. The good old days of uh, uh, talk television, late night TV. This is your sweater. What do you Ooh, think? It's nice. I like it. Ooh, it oh, good. isn't it lovely? Oh, is it, it going to be done for Scotland? Oh, yeah. Wow. I'll have it done by oh, August. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for August 1st. Good. And it may even be done sooner. This is the back of it. I started it just like three days ago. And look how much I've oh, gotten wow. already. Yeah, that looks nice. Isn't it lovely? Mm, I can't wait to wear the Scotland. I I'm not going to wear it to Scotland so, when we get there. I'm going to show everybody what the pattern is. This is the Puntilla sweater by Hohi Locatelli. She wrote it for a female, but it's it could be unisex. I mean, I'm not putting the lace on, obviously. Obviously. So I made myself one. And it he, looks beautiful with the lace. Yeah, yours is And he loved it so much that I may, I'm making him one. And my Puntilla is not blocked yet either because I had nowhere to block anything before Emily moved mm. out. So I do have room now, but I don't have time. But I will be blocking these very soon. I'll, I'll, I'll block the sweater too and bring it next mm. week. But it this is... Yeah, that perfectly unisex. I mean, oh, sweater yeah. is a sweater. Is a sweater. It's I just gonna leave, I'm just going to leave the no lace, lace off. Yeah. And it's... I'm making the... I'm making the... Let's see what size I'm making. I am making the XXL... Because I figured out my gauge for the XXL, because my gauge is different than the pattern, and I, it worked for me when I did it from. from that my, sounds about right. But I made you, um, so I measured a, a sweater that you like or a top that you like. Are you done with that? Yes. Can I put that away? Yes. Okay. I measured that. I measured his arms, which Good. is another thing. And this well, the should, arms on that might be a little big, but. And this should come out to be just the right size. I'm sure it will be fine. If I'm sure it will be too. Yeah. And it'll get blocked to size. It's it'll be completely fine. And it's gonna be the softest, most lovely sweater. Yeah, I have to buy a kilt to match. It, I think a kilt would look beautiful. I mean, look what I'm. Ooh. I'm keeping it. Isn't this gorgeous? This yeah. fabric. This is um, a suburban stitcher bag. And it's Outlander themed. Doesn't that look like the Outlander yes. tartan? I bought it. Uh, I want to say when Outlander started. So you can't get these anymore. It was a limited run, but I love this bag and it matches your sweater. Yes. So beautifully. So I have to get a nice tartan kilt. I think it would look awesome. So I, and you know what else is nice, what? honey? I love knitting this. Good. It's so fun to knit. Not because of the color. I like the color. I love this color. It's a plain, good, sweater color but i just love the yarn so much it's that i know it's so it's that mink yarn supposedly it has 35 percent mink in it the the one i bought mm. so i will post a link to where i bought this yarn and it's my favorite and it's really a very 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 light fingering heavy lace weight 
So it's gonna take me a while, but I don't care because yeah, this I. This is what the bottom's gonna look like. This is the rolled this a little is, bit. No. Oh, I like that. Cut you like look. it rolled? Yeah, I like that. I don't look. have to put ribbing in. I kind of like that look. All right, so I what I'll do is I'll just. I'll, now, if you hand wash it, it won't roll more, will it? No. Okay. I like the kind of roll that natural. So what I'll do and, instead of putting ribbing at the bottom, see how there's ribbing here? Hmm. I won't. I'll just bind it off. Okay. And it will roll a bit. I like that look too. That would look cute. Do you want the collar rolled as well? Yeah, probably. Okay, so we'll do a rolled collar and a rolled um, bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. Your wish is my command, my dear. Anything you would like me to knit you, I would be very happy to knit you. Because you're very, you're very knit worthy. Oh, thank you. Because because I'm a urinologist. You are a urinologist. <laughs> are you going to talk to your sweater too? Yeah, of course. <laughs> The whole way to Scotland. That way no one will sit next to me. You could also talk to those beautiful handmade socks you got last week. Oh, God, please don't remind me. They're so beautiful. I, I can't know, wait for winter to come. I know. I'm already sick of summer. We don't have a pool yet. It's hot, and it's I can't hot. wait. I'm already sick of summer. I can't wait for winter and the cold weather so I can wear my wool socks. I know. They're beautiful. Thank you again and again and again. Oh, let's get a close-up of this beautiful knitting that I'm doing. Hold on. Let's see. So you hold it up. I'm, I'm trying something new with the close-ups. So hold it right up to the lens. Okay. Yep. Good. Perfect. All right. All right. That's it. The next thing I'm knitting, I'm kind of neglecting a bit because I'm so obsessed with your sweater. That's quite all right. Neglect everything. <sighs> I finish I'm, my sweater. I, well, I'm a monogamous knitter. When I when I knit oh, you're something, still doing that. that's another beautiful piece yes. right there. Yes. When I knit something I like, I just go for it. I probably should not have cast this project on because it's. Very soon, I'm going to be knitting it in the round, and your sweater, I'm also going to be knitting in the round, and that's a lot of knitting in the round. So I may hibernate this until I'm done with your sweater. Oh, I'll make a little square cardboard box, and you can knit in a square. Uh, what? Oh, oh, I see. I can knit in a square. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's cute. But this is called um, this is Pool and Conquer by Martina Bem. And I haven't joined it in the round yet because I need to get to a certain stitch count before I do. But it's very beautiful. I'm almost ready to. The triangle got really big. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. So here, you hold it up. Just to look at the... Hold it close. The yarn in a ball and then look what it looks I like know. when it comes in. It's, it's like, amazing. Whoa. Hold it closer. All the way. Closer, closer. How big do you think my arms are? Jeez. Okay. Cool. All right. And then it came. Really a good match to hold up a bank. Oh, I know. And it came from this ball of yarn. That's a big ball of yarn. It's a big ball. I like big balls, and I cannot. Lie. But it comes out awfully. It comes out beautiful, actually. You would never Doesn't think it? by looking at at that, and then looking at what comes out, Thank it's like. Thank you. Holy cow! Hold it up a little. And then the original skein too is, yeah. was really different. But I'm hoping that the finished object will look a lot like the original skein, mm. which I will put a video of in here. Okay. So, yeah, those are that's it, basically. I, it, Donna doesn't have a new bag? No, I'll, t I'll Donna, talk about that. I'll, Donna, <laughs> Donna, no new bag? Come on, girl, let's get busy here. <laughs> Gee. Well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But um, before we do, I do have some questions in our question thread. Uh-oh. I have two questions. I hope they're not hard. They're easy questions. Okay. Okay. So, this question is for from Molly Munch. And she is um, Shelly, and she lives in Devon, UK. Ooh. So, she, she has a question. She says, may I ask what your favorite colors are? And also, is there any chance of you showing your cat as he sounds fabulous? When you come over to Scotland next year, will you be visiting any other parts of the UK? Love the show. Thank you both. Take care. There's three questions here. Okay. Okay. So favorite colors. What's your favorite color? Well, my favorite, 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 favorite color. Favorite, favorite, favorite color. Khaki. That's okay. Khaki and green. Well, look. Perfect, because I'm knitting you a khaki colored yes. sweater. I'm glad that's your favorite. <laughs> okay, well, khaki's more green, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so 
That's more. I like khaki and green. Actually, green is another of my favorite yeah. colors. Well, my favorite color is also green, but my favorite color is chartreuse and acid green. Oh. The same color as my shawl that I knit that I wore to the retirement party. Mm-hmm. That acid green is my favorite favorite color. I yeah. love that color. I have a tough time with colors. I also love purple. I also love pink. I like pink too. I have pink shirts. Yeah, you like pink. I like. I think it's very natural. Color. I am it looks not. Good. I am. I am more into cool colors than warm colors. But I like warm colors. I just don't really look that great in them. I love orange. I don't look great in orange. I look good in the acid green. I look good in blues, um, like the cooler colors, because I have cooler. Okay. Skin, you know, that kind of thing. Question two. Okay, question two. Any chance of showing us your cat as he sounds fabulous? Want to tell the story of our cat? And Tom, I'll pop in a some... cat? Yeah, our cat. Tom? Tom. You want to see Tom? She wants to see what he looks like. I've sh no, well, no, no. I can put video in. Oh, yeah. He, we, he's the funniest cat I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so why don't you tell the story of Tom? I've told it before, but yeah, for well, those he of was... you who don't know... We were feeding the cat down the street. We were run with chipmunks. And all of a sudden, there's one day in the summer, this cat started showing up and meowing, meowing. And I feel bad for animals, so I would always feed it a little bit. And it would come closer and closer. Finally, it just took over my whole backyard over here and drove poor Luna away. Yeah. Chased him away, but it was okay. Then came the first really bad winter we had. It was horrible winter. He was an outdoor cat. And I, we, yeah. I was a little afraid of him because I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, because we didn't know if we had allergies to mm -hmm. cats. So what I did was I bought him a nice furry house. And when it got, I would feed him several times a day, change his water several times a day. And when it got brutally cold, I put a heating pad on underneath, underneath his little furry house. And I just left it on so it was mm -hmm. always hot in there. And then came March when it got started, a little bit warmer. He would go, he was unneutered. And he was a Tom. That's how his name came about, Tom. And he would go out catting around, and he came back one day, his ear was hanging off, and he was ripped apart, bleeding all over. And we looked at each other and said, well, we either let him die or we adopt him. And, and a listener, actually, I talked about this on the show, about this cat, and, and, a, and a listener at the time, I think I was audio podcasting, if it's you, make a comment, um, suggested that I take him to a... Um, shelter and have him neutered, and then, then if we wanted him, we could we could. And we did, know. and they sewed him back so up, we, neutered him. So we caught him. him very easily. He yep. didn't mind going in the crate. He's such a good cat. We took him up to the shelter, they neutered him, him fixed him up, did little surgery. And he's been in our house ever um, since. Gave him his all his shots. That was another thing I was nervous about. And he has been in our house. Ever since, he loves our house. He's amazing. He's the most polite He's cat I've ever seen. the best pet. Friendly. Oh, God. He's so sweet. He loves people. When we He's first started coming so... up and I first started to pet him, every time I pet him, he would bite me. Yeah. And I said, geez, I hope this cat doesn't have rabies or I'm know, in big it's trouble. scary. But he didn't. No. Nope. And he got used to us. And now, forget it. Yeah. He's, He's the house load. He's a good cat. He really he's, is. Oh, he's an outstanding and, cat. I love that cat. If anything happened to him, his if family. If strangers would, come over, he goes right up to them like, hi, hi. You know, he's really cute. He's adorable. And our dog is good, too. We have a dog. We have a poodle. She's getting older. and um, 15 years. Yeah. She, a few weeks ago, she was messing in the house. She was pooping in the house. Because you were piddling feeding in the house. her. Coconut oil. Well, no, I was trying to feed her. She's got some skin problems, so. Well, poodles get skin problems when yeah. they get old. And she's about as old, 15 years old. She's about as old as you can get. But she hasn't been she hasn't been pooping in the house lately, which is good. No, because she stopped the coconut oil. The thing is, she follows me everywhere. Mm -hmm. And if I... She doesn't take the time to go out and do her business as much as she should. Because she's too worried about getting back in the house. She's too worried about getting back in the house to see me. So Once we're retired, it would be easier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to walk her. All right, so there's pets. Okay, so the last question When you come to Scotland next year, will you be, be visiting any other parts of the UK? No, but we want to visit the UK, but I will not visit London. Sorry, London. I don't like big cities. They're all the same. They're overcrowded, overpriced. 
we want to visit the English countryside, yeah. the small villages that have nice little pubs and we can go to. Speaking that's what, of Scotland, hello. We have to get an apartment and we're going to well, be wait a second. living wait, in a castle. Before you, listen. What? The other day, I, they had a little. Well, wait, we're not done with the question. No, I want to, well, yeah, you just yes. finished. Well, no, we're I not. I want to visit England, but I want to go to the countryside. I don't want to go near any major city. We want to live like the locals, rent a little place for a few weeks and yeah. just enjoy the local people and the local food and that's it. But this okay, time we're just visiting. Okay. So this time we're just visiting Scotland. But the other day they had a little retirement gathering for us um, at 8.30 and I had gotten to work early and I was, and I got to work early and I always check the newspaper online because I don't like getting the paper at my house because it's just messy. So I, I checked the top five stories, which I get an email. First story was our local airport, Stewart Airport in Newburgh, New York, is offering... Well, a new airline moved in. A new airline. And you people would probably know it over in Norwegian Europe. Norwegian Airlines is going to now fly out of Stewart Airport, and they're offering really discounted fares to yeah. to Europe and it said that Norwegian Airlines made their first tr sh trip to Edinburgh and I'm like what so yeah. I went on their website immediately and I booked our tickets yep for um that weekend for that week and the we week got to pick our own seats because we're the only one so far on a flight which is really cool we got two tickets direct from Stewart Airport which is only 20 minutes from our house Direct from Stewart Airport to Edinburgh, mm -hmm. one thousand dollars for both of us. Of course, more to go to Florida at that time of year. I could not believe it. And I don't I, like Florida. Especially, we don't have to change planes. A direct flight at five hundred bucks each, and I um, round trip, round trip, and I got, I could have gotten it cheaper, but I got food. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a flight. Yeah, it's a it's long a flight. flight. It's I would seven have hours. <laughs> we need some food. Seven hours? Yeah, it's long. Well, I hate bathrooms on airplanes. Well, oh, this, I'm going to turn blue by the time we get to Scotland. You're going to have to get over there, honey. Oh, man. I have no problem with that. No, you never have a problem with that. But I'm going like to be, those I'm gonna be sleeping for like two days because jet lag. Oh, yeah, because it's five hours ahead. Mm, it's going to be tough. But we will visit England, and I want to. If you can recommend any good little English countryside villages where they have pubs and we can rent like a an apartment... Please let us know. So thank you, Shelly, for those questions. Yes. Those were interesting. Okay. Next is from Terry23. I assume your name is Terry, but I don't want to click off this. Okay. She says, hi, I love watching the two of you. So much fun. I've been thinking of trying to dye some yarn for myself and was wondering if you have any suggestions on which dyes to use. I'm not interested in Kool-Aid or food coloring. Thanks so much for your time. Happy knitting well, and dyeing, too. That's you. I wouldn't have the funniest okay. idea. So, um, I never dyed with Kool-Aid or food coloring, either. I went straight for the professional dyes. So, I get my dyes from Dharma.com, and they've been selling dye for many, many years. They sell a lot of dye for tie-dyeing. So, I order my dyes from them, and I use Dharma. Their, their brand, mostly, Dharma dyes. They have, a, they have a wide, wide variety of colors. And they the prices are reasonable. So my suggestion to you is just get some primary colors. Get the blue, get the pink, and what is it? Blue, pink, and yellow. And you can make any color from those three. You wouldn't even have to buy all their fancy other colors. You can just mix and, and make your own colors from from that. Mhm. Mm so oh, and you should get black and gray. Yes, yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, so with those few colors you can really do a lot. A lot a lot. So, yeah, Dharma dyes. And get a mask. Yeah, you need a mask. Really oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to. Brutal. Yeah. You need, you can just use um you can go on Amazon. I'll link to them and just get the particle masks. And I have a fancier mask that I got from Amazon, but they're not expensive. They're twenty-five dollars. But you can get the particle mask for a couple bucks. Yeah, because it does. You, you don't have want to, to be use, breathing that now. Yeah, you have to use the no. mask definitely when you're dying. 
So good luck to you, Terry. I hope you enjoy your foray into dyeing. It's super fun. I, I obviously love it or I wouldn't do it every week. And when Sharon dies, there's a mask and the pot's going. It looks like a meth lab. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Okay, I. It's speaking Probably of dying, this is a good segue. All right, what? let me talk about the bags. Okay, what bag? The the gardening bag. Remember, oh. we had the gardening bag last week. Yeah. We're gonna. So this is the yarn. But the gardening bag sold out. It sold out. However. And Donna. Didn't make any more. Donna. Yes, she did. Oh, she did? She made five more. Oh. One, I think, is sold, but. Okay. Th this was a very popular, sold out the first night. So. And she has five bags to go. So you have to make five more of those. Or well, four. I have to make, well, whoever orders. So. This is the yarn. The name of the colorway is. Ready for the name of this colorway? Mm-hmm. Gardeners know all the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> My play on words there. Gardeners know all the dirt. And it's a lovely, speckly, delicious skein of yarn. And if you just want the yarn, the listing will say yarn only, or if you want just want the bag, bag only. And I'll have it on I think all it's my bases. To me. And I also have DK yarn now. I have that in, in the shop. So you can order it in DK weight if you're interested. Wait. Oh. So I actually dyed some more Ice blue. Game of Thrones colorways. So you have to play we're gonna play the Game of Thrones Again? guessing game, yes. Are these different ones? They're different colors. Ooh. Hmm. Ice blue. There's three of them. Wow. I'm trying to think of who's ice. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hold them up so people can see them. You're just. Oh, wait a minute. This one's talking. No. It is, oh, it's talking to the yarnologist. It's yes. got something to say. Mm -hmm. What does it have to say? Name watch. <laughs> All right. So, what do you what do you think the name should would be? I, I have a name. Do you? I. Mm -hmm. I love Cersei's eyes. Cersei blue? No. Mm -mm. Okay. How about? No, it's not not black to be. I'll give you a hint. It's a Stark colorway. A Stark? Yeah. Uh, you probably won't guess it. No. All right. Let me have them, and I'll yes. hold, hold them up. This, these are Dire Wolf. Oh, Dire Wolf. And I, that has wolf colors in it. It's got some brown speckles and some... Dire Wolves aren't blue. Well, they, they're they in the blue north. So it's got black speckles and brown speckles for the wolf. And the wolf is white. One of the wolves is white. So this is Dire Wolf. I love this color. I'm it's a beautiful with it. color, yeah. Thank you. I don't know. Okay. Okay. We got three of these too. Ooh. Yeah, there's only two new colors. It's also a Stark colorway. Hmm. The Starks. The Starks. Hold it a little closer. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Quiet. Talk to me later. No. All right, so okay. this is like a blue with black speckle and a little orange speckle and mm. gray. Any guesses? Guess what? What the colorway is? Don't peek. Well, let me You're peek. You're peeking. Well, I know I'm peeking. That's a very good name for it. Thank you. Sansa. But it needs it's a little Sansa. more red, doesn't it? Well, I didn't want to go overboard Although with the orange. She's got beautiful hair. She's got ar that like girl. she's got red hair, and she yes. wears a blue dress. And I, mean, so I think it's really her hair too. Oh, it is her hair. Oh, yes. the red. Yeah. You've seen pictures of her. That is her hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a little bit in there. Yep. So this is Sansa. What happened to the tag? It fell off. And I think it's gorgeous. 
And I have big plans for all of these colorways coming up. Stay tuned. And that's it. That's all the new colors I did. I was dying pre-orders. Well, they say the last season may be delayed until 2019. That doesn't surprise me. No, I don't know. But it's a big deal. They're only going to do like five shows again. I know. Figure it out. Okay, I'd like to re-watch the first season because I never saw the first season. Or watch it for the first time. The first season? I didn't you see know, the first I'll, I'll season. I'll watch it with you. Okay, cool. I don't think I saw it. I just saw a head. When did they get his head chopped off? That's first the season. First, spoiler alert. That's the first season. Okay. Okay. One more color. Oh. Well. There's only two of them. There's only two. But I dyed some more sparkly fallen fairy because that sold out really quickly. What is it? Oh. Fallen fairy. Fallen fairy. That was a beautiful color, too. Thank you. It's peach with green. Green and turquoise. turquoise. And I love this color to pieces. It's one I of my favorites. I can't wait to get our fairy garden set up. We'll be able to the know. pool and I can get the garden set up. I don't want to get the garden set up. These guys will be wheeling wheelbarrows full of God knows what to get the I pool know. in. I'm very excited about our garden, about our pool. I got a text from him, though. He said, We're next. So our pool should be going in shortly. I hope next you week. You look like you don't believe it. I know I don't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's so beautiful. I want to swim. It's nice. All right. So that's it. Okay. We're all set. All right. Maybe we should end this like, oh, no, I can't do that. It'll show my age horribly. What? Like... Roy Rogers and Dale Evans used to sing Happy Trails to Happy you. Happy Trails. At the end of the TV That's show. That's actually Happy even... Happy Trails to you till we meet again. And they're both dead. It's actually before my time, too. Yes. Oh, A is little it? bit. A little bit. I heard about it. <laughs> I never actually saw it, but I heard about it. Mm -hmm. When you're a little kid and a baby and they put you in front of a TV, you learn all this I stuff. Know. What can I tell you? I know. All right. So... Okay. So, let me, wait, let me just talk about, uh, hmm, okay, so. Wow, that ice ball is. Wow, your ice, well, it's hot. Woo! It's very hot right now. So, anyway, Friday is my last day of work forever, and I can concentrate more on my yarn dyeing business. And Thursday is my last day of work Ever. Yes. And I will actually start to pick up a needle if I can figure out I know. what to do with it again. Well, you know, You're going to reteach me the whole that's thing. Okay. That's okay. We're just going to knit. So, yes. So, expect some fun things for our show. I don't know. The show recording might change. I like updating on Wednesday evenings, so I may keep that. I may keep this schedule kind of the same. I don't know, but I want to stop dying on weekends, so I'm going to be thinking about what days I want to die. Mm -hmm. And once the pool is up and the fairy garden goes in and I get everything set up, we will be recording from outside. Yes. Beautiful. Outside. Backyard. And I also have so many ideas for kits and different yarn bases and all kinds of things that I have not had time to try because of my job. But now my job is dyeing yarn. And right. you're going to help me. I am? Yes. Well, you're going to help me with the packing orders and all that stuff. And maybe you'll do your own color. That'd be fun. I just want to go outside and record. I'm sick of recording I know. in here. I know. It's, it's beautiful out. It's hot right now and stuffy. And I know. Ugh. All right. So. Yes. Follow us on Instagram. I am The Stitch Mistress. I am Rich The Yarn Boy. The Yarn Boy. And we'll be posting more pictures. I have to post a picture of me with my new... You're We're also manager. going to start, I'm going to start vlogging again. Yes. And yes, I'm I excited like about that. We're going to start vlogging again and I'm going to be centering the theme around making. I'm calling them maker vlogs. So you'll see snippets of our daily life, but you'll also see what I'm working on, what I'm making. And I'm making lots of things. <laughs> I mean, even down to cooking, down to making my home beautiful because right now it's it needs organizing so i don't know i might put that in there we'll see it's a well as soon as we're retired i'll do it i've been doing that for two years i know 
-hmm. and I'll probably kill myself I know. trying no, to do everything little, that I've been pushing do? off. No, you know what you do? You take an hour a day. Hire somebody. No. Hire somebody. <laughs> Got junk? <laughs> take an hour a day. Yes. And organize. Just take an hour a day, and I'll tell you'd be surprised at how much gets done. Well, I, have I a cleaned lot of outside out a, work. Yeah, well, take an hour a day and do it. You don't have to do and it I all gotta, at once. I gotta go and get a bunch of uh, pompagrasses. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear about our boring. <laughs> boring pompagrasses. It's exciting. Speaking of that cats, talks to me too. Oh. Our cat hears us talking, so he's trying to get in. Here, oh, why don't you let, let him in? Let me go get him. Let him in. I'm gonna go pick and him we'll up. We'll pick him up. And we'll show her Lily, oh beautiful wait, cat. cat doesn't want to see you anymore. No, the cat and Lily kind of get along. Lily's mean to him, though. She chases him. Here he is. He's a 20-pound cat. Very yeah, big, he's not very happy. large. He is not happy No, at he all. doesn't like to be held. No, he doesn't like to be held. He will. He loves to be petted, but he's not wild no, about being No, he loves to be held. brushed, but he's huge. He loves huge. to be brushed. Huge, yes. huge. Oh, he's a big kitty. Yes. You should brush him after the show. I brush him all Brush him after the show, and I will take video of it. Okay. Psst, 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 psst. All right, so you guys have a great week. Look at the camera. Boop, boop. Hello. Happy knitting. I'm Tom. Tom, do cheers. 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 <laughs> you look at you like, what are you doing? It's like, no. Okay, ready? No. Have a good week, and cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, he loves that. Oh, he loves to be brushed. Oh. I think that looks pretty darn good. Make sure the sound's on. The sound's on. Oh, you ain't gonna look too good. You have to do it. You have to ask me two questions. I have to ask you two questions. What is he an ornithologist? And then at some point you'll get the cue. Does it ever talk back to you? Okay. These little things here. Yes, the little crummy ones. What are you making this week? Oh, what I always make. A gin martini, but this is on rocks. Okay. So people can see my new thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What, no, 158, right? All right, well, go ahead. <laughs>